Hey guys, Blind Manager here, and we're back with another episode of Let's Play Dragon Quest IV. And this time, hopefully we're going to actually take down the freaking Marquis of the Palais de Leon. I'm level 17 now. I think I've got a shot. It's still going to be a tough battle, but I know it's definitely possible, because I did a practice run right before this. Alright, so here we go. Time to do battle with him again. Alright, so now I have uh, Lyra equipped with the Dragon's Bane. So I'll go ahead and attack with her and Alina. I'll have Carol use Kabuff twice, and then I'll have Boria use Sap and then Accelerate. Hopefully he won't use chilly breath on me. Cause chilly breath is really the only attack he has that I have no way to defend against. Dang, and he does it right off the bat too. All right, let's see. Maybe he won't kill anyone. Maybe. It's gonna be tough. In my practice run, I barely won, so... I guess I'll try to fizzle him and accelerate. I'm already doing better than I did before. Now I just have to hope he doesn't spam chili breath. Casting sizz works. No, not chili breath. And Bore, you can heal yourself with a medicinal herb. Now that I have Accelerate on everyone, I don't really have to worry about him going faster than me. Sap on him again. No, not chilly breath. Dang, there goes Boria. Well, at least he got that last sap off. Oh, that was a wonderful time for it to wear off. You shouldn't have too many more hit points left. So I've done quite a bit to him. God dang it, more chili breath. Gonna have to split up my healing duties here. Just 
I think the uh, dragon mail equipped on Lyra is what's causing the chili breath to not affect her so much. God dang it. Chili breath again? Alright, time to bust out the kabuff again. Jeez. He is not playing nice with that chili breath. Agility is returning to normal. That's lovely. Hopefully, he will die soon. Yay! I couldn't have timed that any better. Alright, Lyra reached level 18. Learn Cockadoodle Doo, which will wake everyone up. Alina reached level 18. Alright, Kiro reached level 18. And learn Whack. That's the name of the spell that instantly kills. Whack! I kept thinking... I couldn't remember the name, so I referred to it as Beat, which is what it was in the uh, old translations back when it was called Dragon Warrior. Alright! Tornico reached level 19. Alright! Maya reached level 19. Learned Frizzle. Nice. And we got some full plate armor. Non! This is... This is... This is not possible! What is the meaning of this? You must be... Oui! I have been blasé! You are the heroine they say will defeat the lord of the underworld. <laughs> A true heroine would already have disposed of sorrow the... What the... what's going on? And where am I? I have the strangest feeling that I was talking in some foreign language just now. Yay! No more lame French accent. I feel like I've just woken up from the strangest dream. I can't remember what I've been doing. That was incredible, Lyra! You really are a heroine, eh? But that was just the first step to stopping the Eva that's threatening her world. The fight is now over yet. I'm going to join up with you to save the world from being destroyed. It's the least I can do, lassie. Kind of wrecked his accent there, but that's all right. Yay! Ragnar joined the party. I'll be waiting for you in the wagon. And our party is finally complete. So with that, there's nothing left in this castle for us. Let's talk to Healy. Hello! I'm a globe trotter called Healy. I just saw my friend Ragnar goo by with a great big smile on his face. Tell him I hope his globe trotting goos well. And make sure he doesn't get squished by anyone. I tell him that I ooze him one. Hey Ragnar, he only says he ooze you one. What's this? A new overworld theme! Now I said I would get into this more in chapter 4, so... Now is the perfect time to do that. Um, 
so once you have everybody assembled, this will be your default overworld theme. This will play any time you have the hero in your party in the lead with any other character in your party. However, if you put Alina, Carol, or Borea in the lead, you get the Chapter 2 overworld theme. Or if you put... Well... See, you still get it with, uh... You know, the other two goons in the lead. Or if you put Ragnar in the lead, you get the Chapter 1 overworld theme. And if you put Tornico in the lead, you get Chapter 3's overworld theme. And if you put Mina or Maya in the lead, you get Chapter 4's overworld theme. And as a bonus with uh, Mina and Maya, if you have one of them in the lead, you also get the Chapter 4 battle music. Hey, what do you know? A new enemy. Let's change our party back to what it was, though. Alright, new enemy. Wild Beast. Not really a big deal. We've already seen a more powerful recolor, the Humbaba. Apparently you can drop an iron apron. So, what if you want to get that lonely sounding tune from the beginning? You have to put the hero by his or herself. That is the only way to get that tune again. Anyways, now that I've gone over all that, I am going to go... Restore Borea. Eh, I guess we'll stop off in Waze Fair since we haven't been there yet. See some of the new enemies around here. I think. I think we may have encountered these guys already. The Infernal Armors. Just a uh, more powerful version of the Restless Armor. Not really anything new there. Let's see, swing by over here and get that block on the map uncovered. I guess I'll have to get past the mountain first, though. Alright, Skeleton Soldier, I think, is actually a new enemy. Um, they're definitely a threat in a large group, but in a small group like this, not so much. Um, they can heal yourself, which is what they do, instead of... Uh, casting sap on you, and they only get one turn, so that's, you know, pretty much a distinct advantage taken away from the skeletal soldier, or whatever, the skeletons we saw earlier. Alright, more skeleton soldiers. Now, like I said earlier, I don't think I don't think Laissez Faire appears on your Zoom list ever again. But we'll go in there just to make sure. Also, filling out the map on the top screen a little bit. But we are effectively done on this continent for the time being. I'm just kind of using up time in the video. There you get to see the skeleton soldier uh, heal himself. Uh, one thing I will recommend is after getting Ragnar back, you should uh, go back to the royal crypt near Endor and level people up. I think there's supposed to be a secret somewhere in here. I don't know, I'll look it up later. For now, I'll just resurrect Borea because I'm tired of dragging his coffin around. Well, I didn't mean to do that. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode off here. So if you like my video, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. 
Tell your friends about it, and I will see you guys later.